my name is Teresa Mugadza and um, my experience working with women spans a very long time. I identify as a feminist um, and of course necessarily that comes with, you know, advocacy for women's rights. So I think it's, for me, it's almost like, you know, gender-based violence in our society. It's partly like it's we're fighting back against women. Almost as if we're saying, you have pushed so hard, we can't keep you down. But occasionally we'll just bash you to show you that we exist. And unfortunately, because we have a society that permits violence, the questions are not, why is it happening? The question is, what have you done? The question needs to be, why is it happening? And I think of, more often than not, if we don't change the discourse to what have you done to why is it happening, we may never actually be able to, you know, to address violence against women, you know, uh, concretely. But for me, it comes back to, it's really about, particularly against women, it's about controlling women and controlling their bodies, which is why you find that it's not just about physical violence, it's also about sexual violence. There's a lot of sexual violence that's happening. Even I, as a confident older woman, will think twice about how am I dressed as I get out, right? We are forced to self-sanction because you don't know what people are going to start, you know, whistling and making, you know, a scene. So it's also about it's also about forcing us to conform to what society thinks we should do. How are they, how are GBV cases handled in Zimbabwe? I don't think as efficiently as they should be. Um, and I think it's two things. There's obviously the level where, in the context of GBV happening in intimate family partner relationships, the the trend and the the trend is to try and resolve it amicably try and manage it internally, which I think is a problem, because what then happens is you never get to deal with perpetrators. What you get to deal with is the victims or the survivors who are then forced to conform so that it doesn't happen again. There's a general trend, there's a general desire to, to keep women uh, dealing with issues of GBV in the non-legal, non-justice sector response. You know, let's deal with it. Let's uh, do alternative dispute resolution. Let's do family counseling. Let's do family negotiations. And why not just, I mean, if a guy who beats up another guy on the street is taken to the police for common assault, why can't a guy who beats up his wife just be taken to the police as well? But then people start saying, oh no, but there are relationships, you need to think about it in this context. So there's that whole dimension that I worry about.